Hello everybody, welcome to Melissa's Manny's and More. We are going to attempt something today that may be a hot mess failure. Let me adjust this just a little bit. Hold on. Oh my goodness, sorry. If I'm not able to see the time and stuff, it gets away from me. Um, so let me see if I can um, put this over my sleeve so my bracelet doesn't cling. Drive y'all nuts. So, okay. Uh, here in Tennessee, it is pumpkin time, football time, University of Tennessee, volunteers. So, whenever fall rolls around, it's October. We think of pumpkins, you know, the Tennessee Vols. It's football. Put on some you know, chili or whatever you may desire to eat and watch the volunteers play. I don't even watch them anymore, guys. I used to, I used to, but I don't anymore. Oh, I know that's terrible, but I used to watch them when Peyton Manning was their quarterback. I also used to watch them when one of my daughter's dear friends played with them um, back in like 2011. Um, he played, he got a scholarship and he went to school with my daughter and he played for them. But, um, uh, then after that, I just mm, kind of lost interest. I've not ever been a real big fan. I mean, that's so, that's bad to say. But I did buy some of this whenever they released the collegiate sets. Um, I wasn't crazy. I mean, I know people love their college football and everything, so... I mean, I live pretty close, so I'm not going to not buy my ball stuff. So, yeah. So, but anyway, we're going to try to do a pumpkin. So, that's why I'm going to go ahead and try to whip through these. Um, and, um, whoop. And, uh, yeah, that should be interesting. Uh, <laughs> so, I went ahead and took my migraine medication ahead of time, if that gives you any uh, indication. Uh, so, yeah, um, I have my two little doggy helpers in here. I'll have to, I need to take a video of them sometime and just put it at the end, the clip, end of the video. So you can see them in their natural element of what they do. They just lay in here like little slugs and, you know, just uh, sleep and have not a care in the world. Little Claire, I rescheduled her. I had to reschedule her uh, appointment. She was supposed to go today. Um, but Mama wasn't up to going. That is me. So I rescheduled it for next week. So, again, uh, I am going to go back to handling my strips. I don't know if I told you all that or not. I am, I'm just feel, feeling better about, it. unless they're just real sticky, I just, I don't know, um, I used to do that all the time, and I decided to use this strip here, I, I thought it just, blue jeans, guys, go to, go to a, uh, a football game, you've always got on some blue jeans, you know that, so I decided to pull this strip out here, and this set is so, it's so pretty. And it's another one of those was like, why did I not wear this? So this is what I'm talking about. I was using the anchor method for a long time. I used to use this all the time. Like this is how I always applied my strips. And then I started using the anchor method. And I was always having a gap on my nails. And I was like, it was so aggravating. And then I was like, I need to go back how I was applying my nails all the time because I can I can smooth them down like this give them that little extra oomph they need to go over where they need to be oh I always say you never know I thought all the Amazon deliveries have been made today but maybe not even Chewy came today so maybe not um so, I'm hoping that this will not run too long, but I, I've already drawn out, see there, blue jeans. Um, yeah, I've got the pumpkin template drawn, but that does not mean that that will stick to that. That's all I can say. One of them looks like some Frankenstein hair. 
Oh my. You know, it was one of those I saw on Pinterest and I thought it was so cute. I was like, oh, I might be able to do that. I might be able to do that. One of those kind. I might be able to do that. So, I don't know why, but I just have better luck doing it like this. If I don't have, if they're not real sticky. I don't have the build, I don't have that catch in my hair. It's just like that little extra ump pull. I can give it stretch. It just gives me that flat, that flat laying down. Um, so I'm just, and plus I can get a better fit. Uh, one of the videos that will probably come out before this, I think I discussed this um, issue that I had with the anchor method. So, unless they're sticky, I mean, if they're really sticky, then yes, I will definitely be using the anchor method. But if not, then I will be just holding them in my hand the way that I used to. And I really don't, I don't, oh boy, here we go. So, seeing as the phone, uh, the ring doorbell app thing is on my phone. And I'm recording with that. I can't really look at it. So, okay, so this is where my pumpkin is going to go on. So I think I should be able to go ahead and apply that. For the moment, I'm going to skip it and go to my pointer. And I can use the strip on my pointer as long as I turn it around. It's a little bit of a close, close fit. But again, if I take it off and manhandle it, I can... These are all different sets too. So again, the amount of sticky versus not is a, uh, I know the Midnight Manhattan is kind of, um, this one is, is a very close fit. So. So today is, let's see what is today. Today is Thursday, October the 6th. These strips feel somewhat, they're not old. They just are a thicker strip. And maybe it's how they had to make them because of the checkerboard. I don't know. Y'all can let me know. I, this is the first time I've used any of the, other. in fact, I only bought one other collegiate strip and it was some school I don't even know. I want to say it was Iowa. I may be wrong, but it looked like Harry Potter. And that's the reason I bought it. I need to look at it, actually. I should have probably looked at it when I did the Harry Potter manis. That would have been a good idea. Didn't even think about it. So. But, yeah. So. So, my my thing is I'm going to put down this blue here. And then I've got a pumpkin roughly drawn out there. And I'm going to cut it out and put it on there. Yeah, it sounds so easy, doesn't it? it? Just sounds so easy, Melissa. Just sounds so easy. Way too easy for you to do. I mean, there should be no problem, right? No problem. Ugh. Go ahead and bark, little babies. Just bark your little heads off. Drive everybody nuts. Drive everybody nuts. <laughs> I hope all my subscribers are dog lovers. Hope they're all dog lovers. If not, I'm so sorry. Let's see. So I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow. I'm gonna wash these grays out of my hair. Gonna also go to the movies with my dear lovey. Um, she has never been to a movie theater before. She turned five yesterday. Uh, no, Monday, sorry. God, I've lost track of time. Um, and she is going to get her first big girl experience in the movie theater. And I cannot wait to take her. I just hate that it's... I wish it was a better movie, but it's actually The Minions, which I love. Grew. I love him. I love Despicable Me. I thought it was an adorable movie. And um, so we're going to see The Rise of Gru, which I'm a, I, from the picture, it looks like from him as a little boy, which should be adorable because I loved 
the flashbacks of him as a little boy when it would show his mother like just slamming him on everything he would say. <laughs> so so funny. Um, so I think this is gonna be cute. Y'all are probably thinking, what is she throwing together now? She is just she's out there. Well, that's true. I really am. But maybe it'll all come together in the end. We can hope, right? I just hope these pumpkins will work. Like, they make it look so easy. But, you know, lots of things look easy and they aren't. You know, like, I don't know. Well, I won't say some things, but some things they make look easy and they really aren't. Okay, let's see. Is this strip sticky? Nope. Good. My trash can's full. I mean, it runneth over. One of my favorite things to do is not empty my trash can until I absolutely have to. My little, little trash can here. And then I like to empty it and see if I can figure out what was the last Manny I did. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things when I empty my trash can. Oh, no, don't you dare. Don't you dare. But I've got nail envy on, so it's kind of one of those last, uh, one of those things that it wants to try and buckle. I'm not going to let it, though. Keeping that last little bit of tension on it as I'm rubbing it down. Solids are so pretty. In all reality, they are my favorite because they are just beautiful when they're when they're on there and they're just in all their beautiful glory. I love them and I love this blue. I also love um, the one that came out that Breezy does it. Oh my gosh, it's such a pretty blue. I wish that they would bring that thing back and put it in the catalog. That was beautiful. So was Let's Meet and Creep, but Breezy Does It is um is just a is just a cream. Oh god, it's so pretty. Best I can remember it's a cream. It's so pretty. They did some beautiful colors this summer. Little tiny little tiny 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 bit right there. Top coat will get it. Really pretty. That blue is so pretty. You could double it for a uh, little bit more intense blue if you wanted. A little bit of orange under there will come off in a little while. It is very, very sheer. But we're going to be putting a pumpkin on here, so I'm not too much worried about it. So again, I'll have to tap that down. Give it that little gentle pull. As long as you've got the right size for your nail, it should not give you any trouble. It should just lay right down. Look at that. Alright, where are we at? 13 minutes. Okay, here comes the fun. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright. So, it said, <clears throat> and I quote, draw it to make look like a little B-U-T-T, -T, a little butt. Um, so, I think I'm going to put these kind of on the side of my nail. Uh, that's, the, that's what I think I want to do because since my nails are a little bit more of the I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to cut it and then I'm going to see where it looks the best. And then I'll have to draw the lines. And that's where it really may get interesting. And that's where I may have to be like, cut and stop the video, take polish off, and then come back with no polish on my middle fingers and be like, let's try again. <clears throat> because at least with this new editing software i can do that yay i can actually stop it and add in a second video because with my other one i couldn't yay i can do that now so there you go um 
Not that I'm any editing whiz, because Lord knows I'm not. But that is one thing that I have the ability to do now. So, so let's just see if we can make a little gentle, a little, a little butt right here. A little, a little, a little buttock. A little butt. A little cute little, a little cute little baby butt. Just thinking about a little, little baby butt. That's what a pumpkin looks like, evidently. Does that look like a pumpkin? Does that look like a pumpkin top to you all? Looks like a crooked pumpkin, but you know, pumpkins are not. Um, they are not. It looks like a little sharp pumpkin there on that end. Let me, let me nip off that sharp edge. Like, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't start, don't start trying to mess with things melissa so here's where i have to decide where i want to put this pumpkin you know because mm, plus also you know do you want to put it mac it's or mac <laughs> i'm talking to my daughter oh i'm trying to channel my daughter here um because you know it's going to either come down here and go all the way off the end of my nail which i might do that's how i have seen it done kind of catty wampus here and kind of go off the end of your nail, which is cute. I might do that. Let's try one like that. Which one do we want to try like that? This one? Let's try this one over here like that. Let's try this one. This one is the one that my nail, I've got this one nail that's short, so I've been using my other hand for, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, actually I've been using both hands, but let's try this. Let's try this over here. Oh, 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 you're sticky. You are sticky. Um, and see, well, okay, here's the thing. When you get your little your little uh, pumpkin butt on there, you have to draw the lines, and that's going to be my, my downfall, I have a feeling. I want this little thing on here, side goggled, and um, that's going to be, oh, it's down there now. That's not going anywhere. It's there. Good thing that it's not sheer. It's going to be right there. It is there. Okay, so then we're just going to take it off like we would any other strip. Um, once we get it out here. And fold it over. Oh, well, it looks cute. Now if I can just get it to look like a pumpkin. It's a little pumpkin. I probably should have moved it up a little bit higher. But we are learning. Right? We're learning as we go. It's a little short, squatty pumpkin. And I'm going to have to draw on it with my non-dominant hand. But there again, I've been using my non-dominant hand a whole, whole lot. And that's one thing I would encourage you guys to do is use it a lot like i would encourage you if your nails are the same length like try to make try to use it do your non-dominant hand as your nail fee hand a few times and get used to using your left hand if you're right-handed get used to using your left hand to use a marker um I'm all, I ain't, I, I ain't, I ain't, I'm going to say it because I'd use it all the time. I ain't as good. I can't write letters <laughs> and stuff like that as well with my left hand, but I can make it do pretty good with my left hand because um, that's what I'm using right now um, is my left hand. So I've used it so much from where my nails were just longer on this hand and I was using this hand all the time. So you can see that little dip right there. That's the, the center of the little pumpkin. So, okay. Oh my gosh. Should we stop? Um, so, okay. Um, let me stop for just a second because I have a little, <laughs> I have a little diagram. Heaven help, I do. That shows me and helps me remember because we all know how I am. Um, it helps me remember um, how to draw the lines because uh, 
you do all. So you start over here and basically you just come around, um, which the strip helps guide you and your marker will, will probably have to be touched up on some paper. Like I said, left-handed here. Be easier on the other hand. Come on, Sharpie. Don't fail me. Come on. It worked a minute ago. Are you serious? Hold on to that. And so I did you two the other day. Get it going. Okay. A lot of times when you're following this, it makes it not too bad to follow the outline of the actual strip because it just kind of hugs it. So you want to come around. Kind of follow this. Um, oh my gosh, it was one of my dogs. Um, so I'm going to do this first right here. I'm just going to come around and follow the actual pumpkin. Pumpkin. So we're going to be a little bit of a rougher looking pumpkin. Hopefully the other one will look better. And then we'll go in and make the inside lines. And no, I'm not cutting any little brown stem. This one's going to be a definitely have a black stem because I don't know. It stayed on the vine too long. Maybe we used to grow them. I've seen them have a black. Oh, I've seen them have a black stem. It happens, folks. Okay, so let's see if I can come from this side and follow the line of strip oh boy Woo! I'll have to use that messed up bit right there to uh, make the, the stem okay oh wow all right okay so what it says is like <laughs> if you can see the clear lines that this person used um, you're gonna come down from this part right here and to make the first little little line for your pumpkin it's like come this way and watch this marker not work. You're gonna make your first line and you're gonna come this way. Come this way. See, I'll do it so you all can not have to experiment on your own nails. And give it a little bit of a curve and yes we're gonna have to use clear as day guys because you know you know I'm not gonna go real heavy on it I'm gonna give it a little bit of a wispy look there we go we've got one okay so we're gonna follow the same curve with this other side and we're gonna give it that same follow that same this way and we're going to go this direction and come around. I'm going to give it the same, get over here on the paper and give it a little bit of a touch up here. This is all left-handed, guys. Oof. We're going to go in and give it this. Oh. Ah! Holy cow. Oh, no, it's there. Okay. Um, getting this curve is like not my fingers and I want to go that way. No, it's wanting to go. Oh my gosh, my hand is not wanting to. Okay, let me think a minute because that other curve came natural, but this one is, I've got to get it to go. Okay, it's gotta go this way. No, hand this way. Y'all think about using your left hand to do this, or your right hand, whichever way you don't, whichever hand you don't write with. This one's going to be, like, boogered up, but that's okay. Oh, Marie, I said it. Booger. Okay, so we got two lines in here. Oh, my God, this pumpkin's going to be like horrible. But let's just say that... Um, 
hopefully the one that I can do with my right hand will look better. <laughs> and uh, I might actually redo this one. You never can tell. When you see the finished picture, you will know if I have redone it. Uh, but who knows? I might leave it. I might say it's artistic. <laughs> I might say, hey, I did that with my left hand. Be proud. I, I don't know. I might say just, hey, it's not too bad, guys. With doing it with my left hand, I think it's not too bad. So I'm going to make the stem. And I'm going to do a triangle. It's going to start out wider down here and come up. And go. Well, it would if my marker would work. Okay. There you go. Oh my goodness. I hope this is easier on the other hand. That's why I decided to do this one first. Get all the stress out on this hand. And then maybe the other one wouldn't be so bad. Here we go. Lots of dead air. Okay. Lots of dead air for me sitting here trying to concentrate. I'm not putting any squirrelies on there, little lines, because I don't have the ability <laughs> with my left hand. So I don't know how bad that looks. You all can look at it and tell, but hopefully not too bad. I don't know for doing it with my non-dominant hand. Maybe not too bad. Okay, I'm going to cap this. I'm going to open up some clear as day and cover this baby doll up um, before I mess it up. And then I'm going to try with my actual dominant hand. If I make it look worse than this one, I'm going to be really sad. Um, but, yeah, let's see. Let's see. How am I doing? 27 minutes. Well, I've actually done more plain ones than this. that have taken longer. My trash has got to be emptied over here. Ooh, yep, I am runneth over. I need to start putting my trash in the trash can. Okay, let me just pull my little trash can over here then. Okay, everything's sticking to me too, so. Alrighty. And cover it up with clear as day. Not a fan of this stuff, guys. I would rather have top coat, but it's a must if you're using a um, marker. So I'm glad that this is back here so I can actually start back here with not having to touch the marker. I want to actually a little bit in front of my cuticle too. I want and I'm going to do the little stretchy. I don't want to I don't want to rub there. I just want to there we go. I'm going to Gently put that down and just kind of push. I'm not going to rub a lot. I'm just going to push that down because the top coat, I hope I was in frame, the um, liquid top coat. Now, I will later on be going back and putting OPI over this, over the um, clear as day. Just, I don't know. I've just never been a real fan of it as a regular top coat, and I don't know why. Um, you know, it looks perfectly fine. I don't know. I think it's the feel of it. Um, I feel like I should have an overlay on if I'm wearing it. Um, you know, because I've got the extra layer on. So, I feel like I should have some, some kind of overlay. So, there you go. There is my little pumpkin. Let's do another one and see if I get better at it. So here we go. There is uh, some trash. Here's my other little pumpkin butt. I'm gonna try better. I don't want this, I don't know. Do I? Don't think I want it that drastic. Um, 
but let's see let's see do i want to use these bigger scissors it might make it not as not as um i don't know i don't even know if i use the uh these or if i used um oh whoa i went way too far oh heck fire yeah i did yeah i did let's start again I'm going to do my little upsy. Well, I really want one that's like kind of K Wampus. I want one that's not, which that's totally my style that I can kind of put on there sideways, kind of on the side of my nail. I'd like to have one on the side of it. Why do they always come off of their square? Then I'll start messing with it and then it ends up worse. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. Well, this one definitely has a more pumpkin-y feel, <laughs> if there's such a word. Um, but I don't need it. Like, I don't want it all over the whole side of my nail. I want it all over all of my nail. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um... Could do it this way ah oh, see it just took me that long to realize i didn't have to start it over here i mean i'm that way y'all know okay so i'm going to put this one on the side i want to start it kind of mm, kind of here and put it this away all right let's do that right, let's do that let's do that and see Let's also see if I can make the lines any better. If I don't, then we'll know I have zero talent. <laughs> How are we? Oh my gosh, we're 32 minutes. Okay. I told y'all this may be a longer one, but I didn't want to go ahead. I wanted to go ahead and include y'all in my um, applying of the nails so I could explain what I was going to do. Um, I want this back here at the base. Yeah, that's where I want it. It's a good thing because that's where it's at. So, I mean, it really doesn't matter if that's where I want it or not, but that's where it is. Okay, so, alrighty then. Again, look, I'm saving my, saving my thumbs to last because I'm going to need them. I'm going to use this little thing, although I rarely do. Uh, I'm going to push this down here. I tell you, these strips are thick, 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 thick. They are a thick strip, so they should uh, should hold up really well. So I, I have a feeling I'm being really quiet. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You can see the if it was like on the computer, the wheel would be spinning round and round and round. Like, you know, it's just like it's, I call it the spinning wheel of death. It's like round and round and round. Round and round and round. There's not been anything going on around here. Just been kind of boring, actually. Which is kind of, I can't complain about that. I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, there has been one thing exciting today that happened. Um, in a good way. A good exciting. Um, Mackenzie called me and Layla got her brand new chair yay you know how long it has taken us to fight for that chair and get a new chair guys if you don't have special needs people littles in your life you have no idea how long it takes to get stuff like that too long too long way too long um yeah 
way too long. Actually, I think I cut it too, too little again. I should have made that bigger. I've got another short squatty pumpkin. Well, oh well. Um, I could probably put another pumpkin on there. I don't know if I will or not, but because that would put another one right beside of that. But um, it's definitely got enough. Like it's it's definitely um, it's not see through. So you could okay. Here comes out again the um, sharpie. So oh, I hit y'all. Sorry. Um, here we go. Let's make sure it's working. Again, I'm going to follow around from here, just the contour of the pumpkin. Again, I'm almost afraid to say I'm using my dominant hand because when I screw it up, I don't want to say, oh yeah, that was my dominant hand. Because it'll probably happen here in just a minute. There we go. So there's the, the outline. So the whole gist of the pumpkin, the pumpkin was to how they were trying to explain to do it was you wanted to bring the first cross over was to come over with one sweep basically, which I was wanting to outline at first to show you all was to come over like this, take this line and come over with one one sweep. And go this way. Come on. One direct. Oh my gosh. One direction this way. So this is going to be a big old fat pumpkin. You're going to give it this, this little curvature. So you've got that same, you're following that same curve from your other, from your first line of your outline. So see, you've got that same, same curve. And then you take your curve from this one and you're following your same curve from that. So you're going to follow that. Here we go. I'm going to follow that. I'm going to short it a little bit because i got to put another line in here because it needs another. Okay, and then, <clears throat> then you come back and you add another line in here. So we're going to put another line right here. Right here. We're going to also keep it on the same curve approximately. They don't have to be exact. My daughter Maddie was here. She'd be like, oh, let me do that. I'd be like, sure, honey. Uh, and then again, coming up here and split, kind of splitting the difference, I guess. Ugh. I wish they made pins that you could like draw on. There we go. And it doesn't have to be like the whole thing. Um, and then I'm going to make the little, um, I'm going to actually make the top of it first and then come down into the pumpkin with the stem first. There we go, like this. There we go. Now, this one, do I want to do a little curly cue? I don't know. Uh, maybe. These are black, so it doesn't really do it justice. But, um, no, that looks terrible, but it's done. So, um, but anyway, um, there is the pumpkin. The pumpkin for, um, Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad for a first go at it. And let's put on the clear as day and do my thumbs and we'll be done. Um, not too bad, I don't think. Um, a little practice. 
I don't think I can manage doing another one by the time that before Halloween is done. So this one isn't a real Halloween one. We'll call it, we'll call it, I don't know. We'll call, we'll call it, I don't know. Um, I don't know what we'll call it. I'll think of something. I don't know. Football time in Tennessee. That's about what you could call this. Uh, but it might get me no views if I call it that. Uh, so if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here. Um, if you're sitting and listening to my, my rambling nonsense and you do watch my videos but you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe and not have to hit the notification bell even if you want to do that. Um, I would love to have you here. I am working on getting towards 100 100 subscribers. I think I'm close to 80 maybe. I think I'm at 79. And I'd love to get to where I could do a live. I'm not sure how many people you have to have to do a live. But I'd like to do one. Um, so, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Love to have you. And for all my folks who are always watching my videos and commenting, I really appreciate you all. Really appreciate you. More than you'll ever know. For all of you who sit and listen to the whole thing, thank you. You make my analytics so much better. <laughs> and I, I just, sometimes I don't even go and watch because I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh no. So I just, sometimes I'll take a break from going and watching analytics because I just can't. I'm like, no, no, no. So, okay. Um, you can definitely see I'll do this one with my left hand. Um, and then, yeah, the other one that, this one looks better, I think. But, um, definitely looks like football time in Tennessee, to me anyway. So, I definitely will try these again. And I think the next time I will do better. I really do. I think I will do better next time. I have confidence I will do better. Now that I've tried it, this is the first time I'd ever tried doing this. So, you know, you always get better. So, I think that they will be much better next time I try them. Now, ah, here I go. Trying to stick it on that. Um, oh, are you kidding me? That better be long enough for my nails, I'll go say. Just should be. These strips were a little bit older. Um, Midnight Manhattan that I've had for a while. I like Midnight Manhattan, but I love a pirate's life. It is my favorite black. But sometimes you just need a a cream black and I just felt like this would look better. So yeah, it was just about the right amount of length for my nail. So alright. Alright. Okay dokie. I like this. This is a hodgepodge manny if there ever was one with a couple of wonky looking little pumpkins and um, you know, a left-handed drawing by me. So get those left hands or non-dominant hand, whichever is yours and start working with them. Uh, using the tweezers and you know, make it, make it that effort to do that. Cause it's, it's, um, you never know when your nails are gonna break and you're gonna have to use the other hand for your nail fee hand. So, I can't remember exactly, I think, I'm trying to think now why I started using mine so much, but, I don't know, to be honest with you, but I just made a point, here, watch me, here I go again, uh, just made a point to, um, to start using my left hand more, I don't know if it, why, I was just like, maybe it was just why I was, like, I'm going to start using it just in case I need to. <laughs> so, this has started using it a lot. So, I think it was because my nails look better on the other hand. So, that's why. But, so now I can do fairly decent, especially with application and stuff. But, uh, pen work, mm, no, I still need, and it needs a lot of work still yet. Okay, where are we at? Oh, 45 minutes. Oof. Well, but there was a good bit of work into this one, so I'm not going to feel too bad. But, uh, here we go. Almost done. So, 
again, thank you all for hanging out with me today. And um, I like this little Manny. I think it'll be super cute. Um, mm, little bad application there. I wasn't paying much attention when I slapped that baby on there. But that's okay. I'll be the only one that notices that I'm probably certain. Um, so, I'll have to be sure to wear something orange ball related tomorrow. And I'm going to go to the movies. So, I'll have to put this. Maybe I'll put this up on Saturday. That's football day. So, but this just is a ball manny to me. So, all right, there we go. What y'all think? You'll have to let me know. I'm going to stand up. Oh, I always do because so I just stopped the thing. I've got junk all over my desk. Probably can't even tell. But um, I thought they turned out pretty cute. Um, I actually wish I hadn't put the curly cues on this one. But there you go. Hindsight's 20 turning wow. out. Um, but I like the stem. But I wish I'd left at least that one off. But... I don't know. I don't think there's any way to remedy that other than going back and putting a piece of that blue on there and then top coating it, maybe. Um, but this one don't look awfully bad, to be honest with you. I kind of like it. Um, yeah, I actually do kind of kind of like this one. I like this one that I did with my left hand as well. Uh, the stem looks better on this one, but I like this one. So anyway, um, thanks guys for hanging out. And yeah, it's football time in Tennessee. See you guys later. Come back again. Bye.